Hey guys, this is JB3, and we are back with another episode of FIFA 20 Career Mode Youth Edition featuring Scunthorpe United. We are here at the end of December, and we have a good one. We take on top of the table Forest Green Rovers. After we've done well, we got two victories, a late goal against Barry, and then a decisive win against Morecambe FC. So we'll hopefully grab three points, see ourselves up the table just a little bit as we head into 2021, where we will start our year with an FA Cup tie against Wolves. So two exciting ones. We'll have to see how we can do, maybe keep our cup hopes alive. We'll also have some new youth players coming in. We'll hopefully add to the team in a little bit of depth. Let's get into this one, see if we can grab three points. So we'll get into this one here against Forest Green Rovers. We'll make one change. Vasquez comes in at net. He's been asking for some more playing time, so we're going to give it to him. Give Yidget a little bit of a rest. The rest of the team is going to stick in there. We'll see if we can hold on. We'll have to rotate eventually, but hopefully we can hold on well enough, get an early goal, and then maybe hang on to it and grab three points. Let's get into this one here against Forest Green. And we'll get this one underway. Up to Manalik. He'll drive past the defense. Has a good one here. Right on to George Wood. Gets one to Kinsaysau. Has to slow down as the pass is behind him. He drives in. Has a chance. Oh, tap, tap, tap. Aru. It's George Wood on top. And he's off sides. He can't believe it. Kinsaysau could have just drilled it in. Somehow, George Wood is off I mean, I mean, how is, how is that off sides? I mean, what are you supposed to do? Kinsey's house behind the entire defense, and it's going to be nil-nil still. Kinsey's out in the middle, lays it out to Wang. Wang driving forward. Can he get past the defense? Tries to slip it through. It's George Wood. Another chance. And this time it goes off the keeper and goes for a corner. Williams has the ball hung, gets out there, tries to break it up. He can't win it, and now they're in with a drive. It's Jackson who's going to break it up. He gives it right back to Allen, drives in, and Vasquez makes another grab. Allen Vick goes off to Wang, carries it forward, gets it to George Wood, who immediately gives it back to him. Wang now driving on right up the middle, gives it to Manalik. He's driving in, gives it to Wang right in front, can't get on it, and it's knocked away by Smith. Sawazi so on the ball, has it into Manalik. Manalik goes off to Wang, has a nice ball to him, gets it off George Wood. He can beat the defender. He's in on it, has another chance, and this one's going to go wide as Scunthorpe United continue to pepper Forrest Green, but just can't find it into the back of the net. George Wood has the ball, goes to Wang. He's going to use that pace and get in behind. Driving in his wing. Can he keep it in along the line? Takes a shot. Loose ball and cleared away again out of the box. Oh, we miss with a tackle. Awazi pokes it away. Can't win it, though. Big shot. Vasquez makes an easy save. Manalik gets it up to Wang in the middle with some space. He's going to move forward. Has it on to George Wood. George Wood tries to push forward here at the end of the half. Has a good chance. Has it dropped in behind. Can say so. Takes. Oh, man. Drags it way wide. And can say so. Misses a great opportunity as he rushes to get the shot off. We'll go into halftime. Nil nil. Wazi into the middle. Has Manalik. Pushing forward is Guzman. Guzman drives on. Has George Wood into the back of the net. It's one to nil. Scunthorpe United finally break through. And they make it one to nil here against Forrest Green in the 65th minute. It's a beautiful play there. Guzman gets on the ball. He lays it right off to George Wood. And he puts it past the keeper. We finally break him down. And we take the lead here over top of the table. Forrest Green Rovers. Oh, good pass off to Guzman. Pushes forward. George Wood has the ball. Gets it off to Rogerson. Rogerson holds up. Waits for George Wood. He gets behind the defense again. It's George Wood in on net. Oh, right off of Smith, and he knocks it away again. Winchester brings it up here. Tries to find a pass. It gets behind. It's a big shot, and Jackson's there to stonewall it away. Winchester on the ball. Final build up here for Forrest Green. He'll try and find a pass here. It's intercepted by Allen Vick. He'll carry it out. Only one minute remains. He boots it up, has a good pass, and it goes out. It will be one last chance for Forrest Green. 
It's a long throw in. Cordoba tries to get there. George Wood tries to get there. They blow the whistle, and it's a victory to Scunthorpe United over top of the table, Forrest Green. And a big one to send the fans in for the new year. A victory and a dominating performance. Eight shots, six on target. We only allow one on target for Forrest Green. It's George Wood with the goal and an 8.4. Kinseisau, 6.3. Wang, 6.4. Bailey, 6.6. Vasquez, 7.3. Awazi, 7.8. Hong is 7.7, Jackson 7.6, Allen Vic 7.8, Rodriguez 6.2, Manalik 7.4, Guzman 8.0, Cordoba 6.7, Rogerson 6.8, and that does it as we go on top, 1-0. So we're here in our final month. It is with the Ivory Coast. We have Ishmael Diabete, who we will bring in 78 to 94. You know, should be pretty decent. We'll have to see where his overall is before we do anything with him. And then we will take a look. We'll let Diaw go. We just don't need another goalkeeper. We already have three top-notch goalkeepers, so we're going to hold off on that. And then we will bring in Modest Kumi, 72 to 94, 47 to 63 overall. We'll see where his overall is as well. And that will do it for us here in the Ivory Coast. So we're here in our final month of scouting in Mexico. And it's brought back a couple good players. We will take a look at Augustin Aguero, 74 to 94, 51 to 67 overall. And then we will take a kind of a, a gamble here with Guillermo Durante. 73 to 94, low overall, 15 years of age though, he can definitely grow into the team. So we are here, final month in Portugal, and the Youth Academy is actually full, and unfortunately we want to bring in all five of these players, so it's going to take some clearing out. We have Tiago Abreu, 72 to 92, 53 to 67 overall. Carlos Pereira, 84 to 94 potentials, 53 to 67 overall. Jose Henriquez, 75 to 94, 56 to 60, or 50 to 64 overall. Rodrigo Ferreira or Figueroa is probably the maybe the one we can let go. He he does have a low overall. We will let him go. We'll let him slide. His overall is not great, and we have a ton of cams already. And then we have Leo Teixeira, 51 to 61, 84 to 94. So we're here in the Youth Academy. We need to make four spaces available. So Andrew Kelly, we can't bring in yet. Rua Ferrara, we can let go. 56, uh, you know, in a decent potential. Guillermo, oh, Guillermo Durante, 49 overall. Even though he has the potential, I just don't want to hold on to a ton of players that are going to just, they're going to take so long to get up there. Shigari, we could probably bring in. He's 18. Ballet we can't bring in yet. Kumi, 53 overall. Again, a 5'11 center back. We'll hold on to him for now. Goncalo Brito will let go. Make space there. Fernando Figueroa can almost come into the senior team. 58 overall. Christian Lopez, 57 overall. Market, a left back. We'll hold on to him for now. Zorik, we could eh, maybe... We'll have to take a look at some of these other players. I mean, we got just so many players that have so much potential that you know maybe the lower ones it's time to like, like get rid of them Zorik will probably let go we just have we have a lot of midfielders that's that's really the the thing that's coming down for me is with so many center mids we don't really need to hang on to these players forever we could bring we'll let Faria go as well we probably have a lot more talent there now than we originally had thought so we'll hold on to these players we want to hang on to Shikari in case we need the depth at right back because he could come in and do a job for the senior team right away. But he might be the next one to go. Christian Lopez will hold on to market. Again, same thing. 55 overall, 78 to 84. But we'll hold on and see what we need. But that should free up enough space to bring in these players from Portugal. So we will send our scouts back out. It will be Sweden, Belgium, and Australia all for three months. So we'll jump into the Youth Academy just to take a look at the Portuguese players. We have Teixeira, it's 53 overall. And we'll scroll through here and just try and see if we can... We have Jose Enriquez, 56 overall, 74 to 94. Carlos Pereira, 57 overall. 15 could be a good player. He'll have time to grow, has great potential. And then Tiago Abreu, 57 overall, 72 to 92. So the academy is coming along 
a lot of good players that are going to really push the players in the senior team to, to step up their game or get out of the way. So we'll get into the next one. It's an FA Cup tie here against Wolves and it will be a rotated lineup. It will be Ennis who will get the start in net. Okora out at left back. Jackson, Nasser and Awazi at the back. Ronaldi, Guzman, Davis, Henry in the middle. Vukoja and Rogerson leading the charge up front. Let's get into this one. See if we can keep our run going. And we'll get this one underway. Into the box. We try to break it up. We can't. It goes off. It's another chance. A big long strike goes wide of the net. Short again on the corner. Campbell tries to get past Rinaldi. He'll go back to the top of the box. Good pressure here. Big shot and takes a deflection off of Nasser. Goes for another corner here. They'll send this one into the box. It's a low. And Okora gets it knocked away. We can't control it. And the shot goes back on. And Ennis gets a hand to it. Oh, it goes over the top. Nasser tries to get in position. They're into the box. It's going to be a good shot. And it's going to find the net. And they've had all the control and all the talent. But it just they, they break through here. Just, you know, obviously with this, the second squad, I mean, we would struggle here even probably with our first team. But, you know, even with the backups here, Nasser does a good job. Ennis almost gets a hand to it, but it finds the back corner. Awazi shoots it down, has it to Henry. Henry looking to get service into the box. Can't do it. But it's going to be a penalty behind the play. And we'll have a chance at a free kick and a yellow card. Off to the Wolves. It will be Henry to send it into the box. Can we do anything with it here? It's a low one. Has a chance. Ronaldi finds the back of the net. He'll be tying it at one. Ronaldi, an absolute beauty, drives it into the back of the net. What a goal. You will not see a better free kick taken here in the FA Cup. And all even here with Wolves. It's a good pass in. Henry gets it in, Ronaldi swings his leg, goalkeeper's not ready for it, and we're back level at one. Oh, into the box, they'll have a good pass back, it's going to be right in front, Nasser can't get there. Ah, oh, and they just pull us out of position and they make it two. And then it was short-lived, that little glory that we had to go all even here with a big Premier League club. We get in there. We, we knew we, they were going to pass back. Thought they were going to actually lay it off there. Nasser gets in a good position. Ennis again. Even that 6-6 six, six frame couldn't get there, and it's in the back of the net. Goes up. Rogerson has the ball here. It's Vukoja. Loose ball in the box. Takes a strike and almost gets a good chance, but it's turned away. Final touch here for the corner kick. And it will be a high one. Goes into the box. Ennis will knock it away. And that should end the half as Nasser will get onto it. And here we go into halftime. It's 2-1 to one here. Scunthorpe United still with a little bit of hope. Just need to get some more offense and possession of the ball. Okora gets it up the line here to Rinaldi. Rinaldi gets it out. It's Guzman. He's going to run onto it. Guzman trying to push forward. Has to go back in. Holds it off. It's Rogerson. Takes the strike and all right off that keeper. Oh, into the box. Ennis makes a big save and keeps this one alive for Scunthorpe United as it goes over the bar. Corner kick here. It's into the box. It's a good header on and off the post it goes. Rinaldi gets on the ball. Turns it back over. We're going to have to put some defensive pressure on. It's flicked in. And Ennis makes the grab. Oh, good free kick. Header goes right on. And Ennis sends it over the bar for a corner. They'll show short. What will they do? They go into the box now. Big shot and fall. Finds the net. And it's a little payback and a hat trick here for Wolves. I mean, it's similar to the one we scored with Ronaldi. They show short. We get pulled out and too late to react and finds the back of the net. Nice is the game here at the end. 
And that does it. Out of the FA Cup. I mean, we got a tough draw. Would have been nice if we could have been, you know, Salford City, who ended up playing another League Two team here in the third round in January. I mean, it was a good run while it lasted. Thought we had a little life there. But we just weren't able to get on the ball. 57% of the possession, 17 shots. Ennis does a great job to only allow three. We only get three shots ourselves. And it will be Henry, a 7.9 with the assist. Rogerson, a 6.6. Vukoja, 6.8. Ennis, 7.7. Awazi, 7.0. Nasser, 7.2. Jackson, 6.9. Okora, 6.4. Rodriguez, 6.1. Davis, 6.2. Guzman, 6.5. Rinaldi with the goal gets a 7.6. Kinsaysau, a 5.9. George Wood, 5.8. Henry, 7.9. And that does it. As we're out of the FA Cup, 3-1. So that'll do it for us here in this one. And unfortunately, we bomb out of the FA Cup. I mean, we, we, did, we fought hard. It's just a, a kind of a tough draw there. I mean, uh, League Two versus, you know, Wolves is, is not exactly what you want, especially if you rotate the lineup. But you know what? We got the players some more experience. We'll try and do better in the years to come. But we are into sixth position on 42 points. Things are starting to turn around. And obviously, the top three teams are running away with it. We're going to have to try and catch them. But we helped ourselves by taking points off of Forest Green. And now we just have to focus on trying to catch Mansfield Town and Rochdale. As they're only eight points ahead of us. We can catch Grimsby, which would be beautiful to see to knock them off as well. So we'll keep on fighting. That does it for us here in this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you can always find out when the newest episodes are coming out. And until next time, have a good one.